All right, guys. Hello and welcome. Here we are in another game of Master Yi. Taking it easy, taking it easy, preparing, preparing. So uh, we're up against a Shaco here, and honestly, I probably should not be running TP in the Shaco, but I don't really mind it. If I was playing against a Shaco that was on blue team here, I probably would start on my red buff just to make sure he can't counter jungle it. In my opinion, the red buff's worth way more than the blue buff, so I like to start on blue uh, red buff even if I'm on blue team. I'll let it go if he ends up wanting to counter jungle it. We are running teleport, and we're also running alacrity. I think that um, tenacity would have worked fine against our team comp. I just honestly didn't check the team comp before the game started, but entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. All right, well, we're going to wait for this. Lux is in the bot lane. She's ready to not help me at all. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So we're going to be focusing on grabbing ourselves a uh, full clear. All right, this is a really terrible start, huh? <laughs> Nobody warded my blue. To be fair, I could have warded my own blue. So we already see, there's already so many things that are just going wrong with this game that if you just really look at it, Lux not leashing, which makes my clear longer. Twitch AFK at the tower instead of pushing here. And we don't have any ward in our general blue region. Honestly, I could have warded it. I probably should have if I'm not expecting my team to do it. Or at the very least, I should have pinged my team to do it. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's go up here. Man, my screen feels really weird. He has a lot of HP. Yeah, like my screen, whenever I move it, just kind of drags with my mouse. This must be a setting. I have my potion on the wrong key. That would certainly explain some things. Uh, honestly, this Lucian's looking pretty yummy to gank, but I just want to get my farm. I'm not going to overthink it. Not going to overthink it. Meditate before the pot. Just so that we get more HP. To lower your HP, to better to meditate. And, um, yeah, Lux is... What a game. <laughs> what, what a game, guys. What a game. I've been, uh, I've been thinking a lot lately about my feelings towards games in League of Legends. And what I gotta say is, in low elo, you can win no matter what, okay? In low elo, you can always win. It doesn't matter what your teammates are doing. Because the thing about low elo is that the enemy team also has no idea what they're doing, right? But in high elo, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it feels very coin flippy. Like it actually legitimately feels like I'm I'm only going to be as good as what my team will allow me to do. And I know it sounds kind of stereotypical, and I probably shouldn't. I'm just going to alpha bounce to her. Well, could not meditate block that. He did a lot of damage. Yeah, but I use him for a meditate bounce. But yeah, anyway, it feels it feels really, really hopeless right now because of how snowball-y the game is. Oh, I might get an assist out of that. Oh, no feedback. Uh, let me see if I can't get me a home guard teleport on somebody. I'm looking for that home guard TP. That home guard TP would be pretty clutch. I'm just kind of sitting here looking for it. It would be really, really good on Lucian as well. So the cool thing about dying with teleport is that we get this extra bonus move speed. But unfortunately, pods Mia, mids Mia, and you would think I would give up. But I don't want to give up, because I'm looking for top lane. Wait for it. Got it. Alright. We're good. So we do have uh, home guards as well, so... Um, it looks like that uh, Fiddle just really isn't too interested in tanking the tower, which is fine. I'll take my death, it's worth it to me. I got 300 gold. Hey, just act like I went and farmed the jungle instead. Honestly, I think we could have gotten away with that if Fiddle had followed me into the tower once I started porting. I uh, probably could have took the tower aggro. And let's be honest, uh, the Shaco being there was a bit unlucky. But it is what it is. I'm surprised he still has his buffs, honestly. Like, he has double buff right now. Well, he, oh, he, he got a kill off of me. I guess that's what gave him the blue buff for me. All right, let's go ahead and start focusing on our clear downwards. Uh, we're not doing too bad. We want to get Bloodraiser by about eight minutes. I like to get Bloodraiser gold by about eight minutes. 
So you can see here, <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of lag, but that's no big deal. I really want to just ignore his ping. The lower the elo you are, by the way, the more pings you should ignore. I do want this crab. You're on your own. Honestly, what I can recommend for you if you really want to climb, if you're in low elo, like under like plat, just full mute all. I mean, full mute all anyway, but full muting all is really powerful. Um, because honestly, what's going to happen is they're going to spam ping you and it's going to cloud your judgment. Right? And you don't want to do that. Now, I don't think I can help with this. Oh, uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got a little bit of damage on him. I was walking through mid lane anyway. Alright, so let's go over here. And um, let's start clearing downwards. So we're a little bit behind in the levels, but honestly, I don't think we're too behind in gold. And let's see if we got any, like, kill opportunities over here. Nope. My bot lane did not get them low at all. Okay, Twitch just walked right back in. That was... That was rough. <laughs> that was rough to watch. You guys can see it in my top here. The way he walked back in there. He, he probably poofed in the air. This is a bad, bad attempt for me. Oh, there we go. Uh, Lucian's probably coming. So what we want is we want help from, um, we want help, but my laners aren't seeing it. They're here. I would not phase check that, Mr. Twitch. I would not phase check that. <laughs> I would not phase check that, buddy. I'm gonna pull it all the way over here. I wish I had smite. So the thing is, is he's gonna know it's here because he saw it with the sweeper debuff on it. But will he run here in time? That is the burning question. No, no, he did not. So I managed to pick that one up, and we're we're good. We already have enough for blood razor, assuming we didn't buy boots. And it's 7:30, so we're actually on track. And don't feel too bad. Um, as long as you kind of have the general gold for it. My team is dead weight. I'm going to be carrying the crap out of them this game. And you guys are going to see exactly how I did it. Yo, thank you, Anton Garnzagan, for the 15 stars, bro. Um, I would love to go back. So I want to go back because I, I want to buy Blood Razor. But I don't have enough for Blood Razor without selling my boots. And honestly, it's probably more worth it just to clear. This Twitch is just, uh, he's spending a lot of time bot lane. It's probably worth it just to clear and see what we can get from that. Surprised Shaco hasn't taken Dragon, honestly. I just canceled my auto. Alright, um... Blue buff and four, so let's just go and grab that. Honestly, I don't really care about the blue buff that much. I, you know, I just use it for gold and EXP. When it comes to the actual buff itself, not important to me. Okay, seriously, like, Twitch is just legitimately sitting on bot lane. A bit, uh... Fiddle's got a two-level lead, which makes me feel pretty confident going up here. Oh my god. Yeah, I got her. Or Fiddle can just chase after her. Don't, don't flash, bro. Don't flash. The worst thing is, is whenever you're there to help them out, and then they flash. Woo! Alright, almost there. So I love to get early Rift Heralds if I can do it. But the thing is, is we saw Shackle get the double kill bottom, and I think he went back to base, right? Which means that he could be on his way to the Rift Herald and the Crab right now. Because when you have that Crab there, right? The thing is, is like the enemy jungler is probably looking for that Crab as well. But the, the cool part is, as long as we don't pull the Rift Herald past the Crab, if he walks up here and he sees the Crab's gone, he might be likely to just turn away because he doesn't want to give vision of himself because giving vision of yourself as a jungler is very not good. That's one of the reasons that you often don't see me take mid lane farm or whatever because when you give vision of yourself, you're getting rid of your, I guess your surprise, I suppose, is what I'm really looking at here. Thank you, Enderman, for the 15 stars. Much appreciated. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this uh, Gromp here. Yeah, so he finally got that dragon. It took a bit of time. And now we're just going to clear downwards. I wanted to back a while ago, but you can see that the camps are starting to spawn. And instead of backing, in my opinion, it's more worth it to go ahead and clear. I don't know why my AD carry and my mid laner are both mid. And I don't know why my mid is level 6. But I'm, uh, I'm just going to keep doing me and I'm going to carry these guys. It's no big deal. 
No big deal, my friends. No big deal. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. What elo is this? It's silver. <laughs> it's silver, okay? Just throwing that out there. I know I didn't uh, disclose that at the beginning of the game here. So, um, yeah, that would explain a little bit. Like, seriously, like, if you're in silver or gold... <sighs> these are the kind of players in every game. This is... It's like... Ugh. Every game is like this, right? But, listen, you can always carry... I literally cannot lose in this elo. Like, this game might look a little grim and my team might look confused as hell, right? But I'm not gonna lose this game. I legitimately, I just cannot. Just because of the elo that it's at, right? Now, we want to go ahead and pop this Rift Herald in a lane. I'm looking at bot lane, but, um... Honestly, there's only a Lux here. So, best case scenario is we're looking to see if they dive her. Because she's alone. And I think the enemy team might be greedy enough to just dive her. What the heck is that stun time? Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! That was a... Like, that was, I, that was like a mix of a box and a, and a Varus root. Alright, um, do I like to grab Rageblade before Bloodraiser? No, not really. I think Bloodraiser plus the Rageblade components are typically better. Now, I don't think it's always better. I think the Rageblade uh, as a first item does have its place, but it's mostly like... It's mostly, um... If you're, like, getting objectives, dragon, etc, 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 right? Alright, I'm just gonna shove this. Fiddle might not like it, but we have the back pings turned off, so... It's no big deal. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and pop it here. <clears throat> so I like to wait a little bit before summoning Rift. I want to get it down to about 2.2 plates. And I knew I'd be able to make it over there in time. And the reason why is obviously as the towers, uh get lower plates they get higher armor and as you have more people around the tower it gets higher armor so I think it was really beneficial there all right just a nice little simple dive there I'm gonna keep carrying it as you can see we're 8 to 12 right but I got us rift and they got dragon um, a fair trade. I don't think dragons are really that important in lower elo. I think the higher the elo you go, the more important dragons are. But um, I don't think it's like super important in lower elo. Now, this is a good part where the Ginzus is actually pretty good whenever you're pushing like this. Right? Over the Blood Razor. Now, if she comes up alone, you can kill her. But I don't know where Shaco is, so I'm going to back out. Because Shaco's sitting on 7 kills, right? That guy's pretty fed. Oh, he's AP. That's actually great. I prefer full AP teams anyway because I like to grab me a wit's end. Looks like he's coming for these Krugs, so I'm just going to kill them and back off. I'm not going to finish it. Now, we can actually go back and buy ourselves a Blood Razor. And honestly, a 13-minute Blood Razor is pretty good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 13-minute Blood Razor Guntus is pretty good. Obviously, I want that Blood Razor about 8 minutes. And you know how it is? Like, your teammates are, like, always taking your buffs and stuff. Man, I'm, I'm, I bet I'm probably speaking to some of your guys' soul whenever I talk this stuff out. Right? Your teammates take your buffs and stuff. So the whole reason I'm not doing my Gromp is I want to be within range of my red buff. If I think maybe either Ezreal or Twitch are looking at taking it. So I'm legitimately, I'm skipping this buff so I can get to red to be in range to smite it if I have to. Hmm, Ezreal's actually playing pretty well. Now, I don't know if Shaco took my red because as you can see here, Shaco was bot lane. And Ezreal just picked up a red buff from Shaco. So there's a chance that Shaco actually took my red, which would suck, but it didn't happen. I really look forward to picking up the Blood Razor. Blood Razor will be really good for me. That'll give me a lot of extra damage. Blood Razor proc plus Guntus. Yeah, so like listen, so I'm I'm really struggling right now in like diamond at the moment. Right? And obviously I hit Masters every season. Minimum. Right? So, Diamond... Being stuck in Diamond's kind of... Eh, for me. The meta hasn't been kind to me lately. And as I mentioned, it feels kind of coin flippy. But listen. If you are low elo, like if you're in like under plat, there is no excuse on your team. There is no excuse. This elo is so incredibly easy to get out of. Because... Think about it. When you... I'm going to try another analogy. If you watch my Cal Sub Gaming, you know I suck at these. Look at my team. Look at them. They're inting, right? They're terrible. They're terrible. But the enemy is also terrible. But Cal Sub, the enemy is never terrible for me. 
they're terrible or they wouldn't be in this elo. Right? So I'm going to let this dragon drop again because I don't care. I don't care about that dragon. What we want to do now is we want to draw aggro to what we're doing. So we're going to let this go and we're going to look at... You know, I could maybe even get a kill or a triple kill in mid because I jump on him and then his whole team comes. I don't like see he flashed for a kill that I had, right? That's that's low elo. Everybody gets him. I just walked past a pink. See, I'm low elo. Everybody gets him. I understand. Let's go ahead and grab this Rift Herald, and we're gonna use this to try and push in hard. But we can see that we're 11 to 14. I have more than half the team's kills. Yeah, I'm giving up dragons. I talk a lot about controlling objectives. 100%. I think in plat plus you should be controlling those objectives. But in low elo, the only objective, in my opinion, that you should control is maybe the Rift Herald. I think Rift Herald's pretty good. So I knew which one was the real one after I autoed because uh, it took a lot of damage. Uh, you just kind of, sometimes you do so much damage that you think that you're hitting the fake one, but you're actually not. But yeah, I, I could just tell which one was the fake one by the auto. But yeah, I'm, I'm basically, I'm going to solo carry this. I mean, Fiddle didn't play bad. He's not playing bad. But let's be honest, he's not like super swinging this game in our favor here. And you also got to remember that I'm the reason that Fiddlesticks isn't doing bad. So she's going to jump me. I'm just going to turn around and kill her. Because they don't know any better in this elo. They actually don't know any better. Right? It's, it's normal. It's normal. I took 500 damage there. I obviously don't know any better either. I thought I could handle him. He did more damage than I anticipated. I don't play against many AP Shackles. And honestly, guys, that's a way that you get better. Is the more that you play, the more that you learn about your limits, right? So in this particular case, you know, I'm pretty good against, like, meta stuff. Like, you see I really every other game. You see Varus quite often. You see Pantheon often. So I kind of know what I can get away with. But I don't see AP Shaco Jungle that often. So I don't know how much damage a guy does. The only way you're really going to figure out is if you, like, commit yourself into fighting them over and over and over again. Until you actually start to understand what they do. I have a lot of these wards here. Alright, I'm just going to begin my clear and maybe start pushing top again. We'll see. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to start clearing upwards. And honestly, the thing is, my team is kind of worthless, right? We can all agree on that. Because, you know, I obviously, I'm not in my team's elo. Because I'm expecting to climb higher. So why would I give them access to these resources when I need to be uh, climbing, right? Now, obviously, as you get higher elo, you have to start sharing resources with teammates. Because the enemy team's really good at taking advantage of your underfarm team. But in my opinion, again, if you're under diamond, maybe maybe plat or lower, uh, you can get away with just kind of taking lanes from your teammates. And honestly, I don't even feel like teleport's that good in low elo, because I don't really want to teleport to help my team, because they're doing dumb stuff anyway. I just kind of rather just 1v1 people, right? I don't really like what my team's doing anyway, so... I mean, honestly, they're not doing bad. They're winning those fights. But I'm just going to keep pushing and trying to get that inhibitor. Making the plays. Honestly, seriously, guys, if you are under diamond and you want to climb, just copy what I do. Like, seriously, watch my games. You'll find patterns. It's all the same thing. It's so easy, especially as G. I mean, as other champions, maybe it's not so easy. But as G, this is so easy. I'm just going to pop a ward here so I can teleport later if I need it. I don't know why I wouldn't need it, but... See, a little bit of limit testing. Aw, oh, almost. <laughs> almost. I think we need some tenacity. Honestly, tenacity in my runes probably would have just won me that fight. Because I wouldn't have ran as far away with my fear. And Pantheon probably wouldn't have stunned me as long as well. Well, he definitely would not have. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some mercs. And this will really get us moving. And now we're going to be looking at our next item. Uh, basically, in low elo... Every time you want to get like a Blood Razor, Gunzu, Switch, and Death Dance. Pretty much in that order. If they're all AD, you can look at like Blood Razor, Gunzu, Death Dance, or Blood Razor, Gunzu, um, Randuans. You're always grabbing that ran uh, the Gunzu's. No to Blade and the Rune King, in my opinion. I don't think Blade and Rune King is that solid. And um, I mean, Blade and Rune King. I mean, Blade and Rune King is not bad, but I, I think Gunzu's is just it's too 
Too overpowering. Wait. Ginju's Rage Blade is just too strong on Yi. Sorry, I just completely started auto-talking there. And again, I'm not really worried about the dragon until we're looking at... I really is coming up this way. I'll just stop by and kill her real quick. I'm not even going to try to outplay her stun here. I don't need to, so... <laughs> like, I, I didn't even feel the need to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who has vision? Oh, Varus? Yeah, I'm not really scared of Varus. Okay, so they kind of have vision of me and Baron, but it doesn't look like they're doing anything about it. Alright. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. We get a free Baron. But anyway, I didn't really feel the need to dodge the Irelia stun because she's bad. And she's not that fed. Right? So there's a, quite a few things going for me. Now that they do have that third dragon, I do have to, like, take the next dragon for sure. Uh, I don't like being in a position where I'm forced to take dragons. It kind of feels bad. But I usually try to get the first or whatever. But in this case, you know, it's whatever. I have full control of the game. I don't really mind because I don't think they'll be able to compete with me for the dragon anyway. There we go. All right, let's push this base in. So let's start getting some more inhibitors. And I got a, I got high, Highlander already. Wish I had some lifesteal. Mm. I mean, I got Ravenous. Not bad. And honestly, my team won that fight. So my team's starting to catch up and be more useful. And see, here's the point where, like, low elo people be like, See, Kalsep, your team is good. Blah, 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 blah. I invite you to rewatch the game. I invite you to rewatch. Because what happens is, is my team's actually terrible. But I play well enough that the enemy team suffers, which puts my team ahead. Which then puts my team in a position where they can actually fight back. Alright, I'm just going to kind of hold on to this for some Ginsu stacks. I have Gromp for this as well. I'm going to meditate through this. So the key here is that we want to keep these Gunju stacks for when inevitably somebody comes. But I don't think anybody's coming and Ezreal's going to hit my Gromp. Oh. Um, I'm, I'll get these for Gunju stacks. I mean, at this point, I can easily Penta, right? Okay, well, I guess not. Shaco's nearby. Where's he at? Alright, not bad. Not bad. Well, we got a triple. You know, I really wanted that pent up, but <laughs> it just wasn't meant to be. I mean, that really is easy kill watch. Like, she's overextending. Like, there's no reason to ever be up that far, right? There's just no re She can't defend it alone. And that's a problem that a lot of players make. Even in higher elo, they make this problem where they want to defend things that they can't defend. Don't be like that. You, you know what I mean. You're playing Yi and your team all dies. They all die. And then the enemy team's pushing your inhibitor. And that's all they're going to get. They're going to get inhibitor no matter what. And your ping is spamming. They're like, please, come defend the inhibitor that's going to die anyway. Just ignore them. I have, all the, I have all the pings muted because they were annoying, right? Just come defend the inhibitor. It, it doesn't do any good. I actually kind of want to get me a Penta here. What do you guys think? I'm down. Wait, I don't have a Highlander. Uh-oh. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, well, we wanted the Penta, but we went a bit too deep in their fountain. Un unlucky. But hey, we ended with more than half the, uh, the team's kills. And honestly, I told you guys, you cannot, like, I'm, I'm being 100% honest. You can have a 100% win rate in silver and gold. Silver and gold, okay? 100% win rate. Except when, like, somebody disconnects early. Like, within the first 10 minutes or so. Or somebody's just, like, straight up inting, right? But you can have a 100% win rate. And it's really, really important to not get flustered by it so for example one of the things i complain about in my games when i'm playing like in higher elo is teammates afk too much like teammates afk too much it makes the game really hard to play and it's not my fault it's my team's fault they go afk you know what i mean and low elo people have the same issue but i don't have that issue like why do people going afk not bother me in lower elo but it does bother you and why do people going afk in higher elo bother me right and the reason is, is because these people tend to go AFK when they get emotional. And they get emotional when they're losing. Right? 
They get emotional when they're losing. Don't be deceived, okay? My elo's higher than the rank I am. Okay, these are, they're silver. So they, they get emotional when they're losing. And why are they losing? It's because the enemy jungler is ganking them, right? As a Yi player. So what happens is when you're playing something like Yi, you are already at a disadvantage where your team wants to quit early because they are getting ganked over and over and over again. So yes, they're going AFK and no, it's not your fault, but it is your fault because you're playing Master Yi, you're trying to farm for the mid to late game, your teammates lose early, you don't help them and they go AFK. If you played something else, like Elise or Kha'Zix or something that ganked a little bit better early, you would not have as many AFKs and you would win more often. Therefore, it is your fault. You have to look at the bigger picture. Yes, you think it's your team's fault, but it's actually your fault for making your teammates tilt. And it, it, it sounds bad, it does, and I hate it too. But your team is only gonna play as good as you enabled them to play. You're basically a glorified babysitter. So remember that. When you are trying to climb and people are going AFK, don't be mad at them. I need to take this advice to heart. But think about how you could have influenced the game in a way that would prevent them from going AFK or raging or quitting. Now I'm going to try to take my own advice to heart. But in silver, gold, you should never lose. Ever. If you're, if you're decent enough. You can always win every game alone. And platinum, you lose sometimes. In my opinion, you lose sometimes. You can't win them all. Right? Because the enemy players get a little bit better. And in diamond, you're, you're going to have some coin flips. Especially diamond four. Diamond four is the worst. Right? So just keep that stuff in mind whenever you're trying to climb. And hopefully this is helpful for you.